saving costs, minimizing risk and achieving real-time insight in the world of payments, Serala is a global company with German roots and big ideas about the potential of automated payments. So for greater efficiency and effective payments, Serala offers its clients a comprehensive ecosystem for corporate payments, in other words, the universe of payments. Serala offers financial technology and that automates and optimizes any cash flow that goes into an organization or out of an organization. So basically automating B2B payments. Why is that unique? It is unique in a sense that we are able to really automate the whole chain of payments, the whole chain of cash flows for an organization. And that is different because we, we don't go for best of breed approach. We really say we want to automate the full universe of payments. This company was founded by my father in 1984 as the idea of a pure software company in the space of cash management, cash visibility management. So since that time, we have really transitioned to a global multinational organization where we have offices in more than 17 countries, where we have more than 700 people working for our organization, with a offering from order to cash to P2P to cash visibility, what we call the universe of payments. So this company made a massive transition from, from the beginning, 1984, to today. At the end of the 90s, beginning of 2000s, we started a partnership with SAP where we learned a lot about ERP and ERP data and how data out of an ERP system can help organizations to have a strong forecasting on the cash side, to have a strong, secure payment environment. Now moving this into a cloud environment, into a new technology stack, this is for sure helpful that we have made that transition before as well and that we can offer our customers from the ERP into the cloud with a hybrid world, all three scenarios. We have a very strong community with our customers. So we are meeting once a year with all customers on a large user event with five, six, seven hundred people. So we have a strong user group with all our customers. And what we do is we try to find out from the customers in those meetings, what are the topics they are working on? What are the topics they are interested in? And where do they see are the biggest challenges for them coming? And that's where we develop and how we develop our solution in combination with our own product innovation cycles. These days, it's on the one hand about cash flow and cash. Where is my cash? How much cash do I have? So cash is king. And on the other hand, it's as well about working remotely. So how can I handle my invoices that touch my organization? How can I approve them? And on the flip side, how can I make sure that my customers are actually able to receive my invoices and pay them? So there's a lot of challenges, especially these days. On a bigger scheme, I would say the key challenges are digitization of processes, of manual processes, maximizing cash transparency, and lastly, maximizing efficiency and process cost. Everything we sell to our customers is payment security, fraud prevention, so that's where we are focusing a lot on. How do we do that? First of all, we have included that in our values. Reliability is one of our core values, so we stand for that, and that is as well how we work as a company. Then more operationally, we have established certifications like ISO. We are working with standard procedures to make sure that we can maximize the data protection we are providing. We even have a data and security officer that does nothing but checking, are we compliant? Are we making sure that we are up to date with the latest and greatest technology to make sure we can safeguard data? When we look into applying new technologies like machine learning, like artificial intelligence, we always seek for the additional business benefit. So how can these technologies increase the impact of our solutions? Having that in mind, both artificial intelligence and machine learning can help to increase the automation uh, as we can leverage even bigger data pools. We can look into patterns or the machine can look into patterns to increase the automation. So that's why we're applying these technologies and we will continue to do so always with the intention of increasing the ROI and even achieving more benefits for our users and customers.
Over the last years, we made a clear transition already from ERP-based company to a cloud-based company. So when we see now what will happen in the next 20 years, we want to be the market leader in the B2B payment space, cloud-based for corporates globally.